This is English for Great Six. Produced by Tigray Education Bureau. Transmitted by Dimsuoyane Tigray National and FM radio satellites and social media. And also FM Makala 104.4. Hello students, for this week I would like to teach you a lesson at Unit 9 of your English textbook. Prepare your English textbook please. Alright, you can open up at page 151 if you have the textbook at hand. Page 151, 151. Have you got it? Great, it says Unit 9 Lesson 3, Grammar Practice. Adjectives. Well, before I directly proceed to my lecture, I want you to memorize the previously taught lessons on adjectives. It is obvious that you have learned about adjectives. Okay, you know, an adjective is a word that modifies noun or noun is referent. The adjective makes the noun more sensible and meaningful. It gives further explanation. It helps you to describe your school, your town, your village, your city, country, or the world in general. Fine. Can you find words to describe your school, village, town, room, etc.? Let me give you 30 seconds to describe nouns. Okay, here are some examples for you. Wonderful school. Wonderful is an adjective. Small village. Small is an adjective. Green village. Green is an adjective. Clean town. Clean is an adjective. Populated city. Populated is an adjective. Strong boy. Strong is an adjective. Expensive car. Expensive is an adjective. Huge elephant. Huge is an adjective. Huge means very big. Lovely people. Lovely is an adjective. Successful man. Successful is an adjective. Wonderful world. Wonderful is an adjective. Bad disease. Bad is an adjective. So these were some adjectives used to describe nouns. As I told you, adjectives are words that are used to describe nouns. All the adjectives that we used before are describing words. They were describing the words. They were describing the nouns. Oh, you can list many adjectives. All right, now let me also show you how to use adjectives in sentence. For example, our school is wonderful. In this sentence, the adjective is wonderful. The village is small. In this sentence, the adjective is small. Magale is a populated city. In this sentence, the adjective is populated. Populated means having many people. The new coach is strong. Strong is adjective. Your room is neat. Neat is adjective. Okay, now let this be your turn to practice how to use adjectives in sentence. I will give you 30 seconds to practice your own, like mine.
That's great. I hope you tried your best. Let me add up some more examples to make it very simple for you. Example 1. I saw a huge elephant. Huge is adjective in this sentence. Example 2. Hilo Gabriel won the long distance run several times. In this sentence, we do have two adjectives, long and several. You know, we can have two and above adjectives in one sentence. Example 3. She loves blue eyes. In this sentence, the adjective is blue. The adjective blue describes the noun I. The other important point is, we can compare nouns using adjectives. We add ER to single syllable adjective when we compare two nouns, but we add EST to single syllable adjectives when we compare three and above nouns. Remember also to add more to double syllable adjectives when we compare two nouns and most to double syllable adjectives but when we compare three and above nouns. You find it complex? Don't worry. Listen at these examples. Example 1. The boy is lazier than the girl. Example 2. She is the tallest girl in our class. The tallest is to the comparing adjective. Example 3. He is the richest man in his village. Richest is the comparing adjective. Example 4. Coronavirus is more dangerous than fever. More dangerous is the comparing adjective. Example 5. Our school is the most beautiful school in the city. Most beautiful is the comparing adjective in the sentence. Example 6. The director is more hardworking than the teachers. In this example, more hardworking is a comparing adjective. Example 7. Ethiopia is the most populous country in East Africa. Most populous is a comparing adjective in the seventh example. All right. Let me give you some exercises. I have prepared eight questions for you. Choose the correct answer from the given alternatives. Question number one. City life is dash than the countryside. A. Beautiful. B. More beautiful. C. Most beautiful. D. As beautiful as. Okay, let me read it again for you. City life is dash than the countryside. A. Beautiful. B. More beautiful. C. Most beautiful. D. As beautiful as. The correct answer is B. More beautiful. City life is more beautiful than the countryside. Question number two. Farmers are dash than merchants. A. Hardworking. B. More hardworking. C. The most hardworking. D. Not hardworking. A. Hardworking. B. More hardworking. C. The most hardworking. D. Not hardworking. The correct answer is. B. More hardworking. 
Farmers are more hardworking than merchants. Question number three, which is the dash animal? A. Fast. B. Faster. C. Fastest. D. More fast. Which is the dash animal? A. Fast. B. Faster. C. Fastest. D. More fast. Correct answer is C. Fastest, which is the fastest animal. Question number four. Flowering plants are dash the non-flowering plants. Question number four. Flowering plants are dash the non-flowering plants. A. Beautiful. B. More beautiful. C. Most beautiful. D. As beautiful as. Flowering plants are the ash than non flowering plants. A. Beautiful. B. More beautiful. C. Most beautiful. D. As beautiful as. The correct answer is B. More beautiful. Flowering plants are more beautiful than non flowering plants. Question number five Which do you think is the dash profession? A. Easy. B. Easier. C. Easiest. D. Easily. Which do you think is the dash profession? A. Easy. B. Easier. C. Easiest. D. Easily. The right answer is C. Easiest. Which do you think is the easiest profession? Question number six. Giraffes are dash than devras. A. Tall. B. Taller. C. Tallest. D. The tallest. Giraffes are dash than zebras. A. Tall. B. Taller. C. Tallest. D. The tallest. The correct answer is B. Taller. Giraffes are taller than zebras. Question number seven. Educated people are the Dutch people. A. Careful. B. More careful. C. Most careful. D. Carefully. Educated people are the Dutch people. A. Careful. B. More careful. C. Most careful. D. 
carefully. The correct answer is C. Most careful. Educated people are the most careful people. Question number eight. Africa is dash than Europe. A. Big. B. Bigger. C. Biggest. D. The biggest. Africa is dash than Europe. A. Big. B. Bigger. C. Biggest. D. The biggest. The correct answer is B. Bigger. Africa is bigger than Europe. Therefore, to summarize today's lesson, there are two main points in our today's lesson. Adjectives and comparing adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe nouns. They are like colors. They brighten your nouns or sentence. Whereas, Comparing adjectives are adjectives that are used to compare nouns, like bigger, smaller, more beautiful, more handsome, and so on. Students, there are five questions at page 151 of your textbook. Remember, next week you have to do your homework. Thank you for your attention. This was all about for today. Till next time, have a great week.